Hey, but hey, it's Swedish black metal time. This time we have here Greve and Nordarik Strid. Out in uh, 21st of January 2020. This is relatively new album through Pirated Through Fire. Now, this is kind of a throwback album being very melodic, very uh, symphonic and also quite mediocre of standards of today. This is like a throwback album to especially 1990s kind of a Nordic black metal and maybe even that in kind of a Swedish terms. Now, there are no major malfunctions with this album. It's very, very uh, kind of a basic, very kind of a standard-like album in so many ways when we're talking about uh, Nordic melodic symphonic black metal and by symphonic it means quite simplistic synthuse what the bands were so much keen on in the 90s and as you can see even the inlay images are very very traditional kind of a 1990s black metal like no lyrics whatsoever it's just it is simple and all that now a couple of things which actually bother me on these albums are actually the lack of imagination and originality and also the vocals. The vocals are divided into two different kinds. There are growly parts which are more funny and entertaining and rather than being good. And then there are these really high-pitched screamy vocals which seems if the vocalist is losing his voice anytime soon, they're just like really an acquired taste of kind of a thing. Not to my kind of, I must say. They are like, what the hell is going on? replaced vocal or vocalist or vocalists i'm not sure how they were conducted now also the one funny thing i found on this album is one of the tracks here uh, called i nordiske vrede which is actually a uh, cover song by the one of the band members other bands the svarta dauhutst uh, it's better best track on this album probably with kind of a melancholic atmospheric black metal and at the same time, it's being a cover of one of the other band's members, other bands. Uh, doesn't make me, doesn't make any sense to me why so, but like, what do I know? The artists are what they are. Now, like I said, this is an album that feels so much like a throwback thing. And this probably would have been a classic of nowadays. A cult one, maybe, but still, if this was released already some... 25 years ago, but being 2020 release, this is, in my opinion, rather a poor attempt to do a homage to early or mid 90s melodic black metal than actually being a good album. In fact, I, I would say this is quite mediocre. With so much better vocalists, I think this would be a notch up. But also, even with the vocalists being better, it doesn't change the very fact that these keyboards are very very basic and mediocre stuff and the songwriting isn't too shabby either so um i don't know which kind of audience will, will be stoked about this maybe those who are fully in love with synth-filled melodic black metal and don't care too much about high quality songwriting and memorable riffs so in case you are one of those be sure to check out this but mark my words this isn't that good an album it's mediocre stuff with mediocre production and quite horrible vocals. There you go. Take a look at Nuda Street and uh, what can I say? Hope you like it more than I do.